We are live here at the Winton Woods versus Anderson Raptors um, varsity game. We just came off of the JV game, which was 6 nothing. Anderson. Ready for a, a nightcap here. Um, what a beautiful sky. We have kind of a dark clouds moving in, so I'm not sure if we're going to get rain or not, but it looks pretty cool. And we are about to begin the contest here tonight. We have Anderson leading the Eastern Cincinnati Conference with an overall record of 13-0-1. They are undefeated in the conference, 7-0. And, um, and we've got Wynn Woods, who um, overall are 5-7-1. They have struggled in conference play. They're sitting at 1-6. So um, this will be a tune-up for the high school playoffs coming up in two weeks. So we'll see how this plays out tonight. Um, for Winton Woods, we have two of the three top three scorers in the conference playing. We've got uh, Amy Soovi, who's got 13 goals. We have Zayed Ludabi, who has 10 goals. Sadobi also has a total of 29 points, so he has 16 assists as well. So it'll be an interesting matchup coming up here. Um, Winton Woods, really in the stats column, only has one with who's in the top five in stats. Nobody else is in the top numbers, which tends to mean to me that they probably play a pretty balanced game. And right off the shot, right off the opening tip, wouldn't be the opening tip, but anyway, um, that'll be basketball. <laughs> Face off would be hockey. Soccer would be opening kick. There we go. Got to get my sports right here. Anderson controlling the ball. We do have a roster for the varsity game, so I'll do my best to see if I can pick up a couple players as we're playing here. That looks like that is going to be a corner kick. Looks like he tripped over something on the end. There must be some mats maybe for the track and field or something, but he seems to be all right. So we have a corner kick coming up for Wynn Woods. From this distance, I believe that is Alu Alu. Is that correct? 17. Is it Alu Alu? I guess so. I looked, it looked like number 13 to me, but I might have been wrong. Ooh, a nice save. That was that was not an easy save there. He was smart. He didn't try to save it. He just kind of got his fist up and knocked it back. Nice punt. Consistently Little. kicks to the, like the 60, 60 yards. Pretty effortlessly. That's a foul on um, Anderson coming over the top. One thing you probably notice as the game's played tonight, you will maybe see some yellow cards tonight. Fairly rare. If you do, they'll be off the field and then they'll come back on. A rare card's pretty rare in high school soccer. Well, that's a nice opportunity there, but headed out well by number 12. That was Jason Teesman. I'm going to put a little check mark every time I get a player's name right. I'm going to put a check by it. Looks like we got a um, goal kick here for the Anderson Raptors. It used to be called the Anderson Redskins, but um, changed their name this year for the first time. I guess at least they're not the Anderson football team. So, anyway, the NFL fans, the Washington, was the Washington Redskins, wasn't it? Yes. Washington Redskins became the Washington football team while they figure out a name. If you're fans of those teams, it's probably a Washington disappoints every year. <laughs> but, um, anyway, talk about disappointing the Bengals. Um, we're 3-1 right now, so we'll see if they're setting us up again. Nice settle there, nice move. And that was um, Alex, no, sorry. That was Solomon Fordor. Nice footwork there. Nice job putting on pressure and I believe we have a throw in coming up for Win for um, Anderson or Win Woods? Well, Anderson guy's taking, taking the throw and it seemed to be a little bit of confusion on who had the throw in. 
Settled well. Nice turn. Oh, that was nice. But let's. For a second there, I wasn't sure which direction we're going in. There we go. Nice idea. I called offside. Didn't matter if you could get to it or not. It's kind of hard with that red line and what's out and what's not, but it's that second red line, correct? Or black line? Black line. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's way back. It's really hard to see inside that field of blue. Yeah, yeah. It almost needs to be white or something, but they probably don't want that color for football, right? That would that would mess it up. Got that gray line in the middle, though. That's for lacrosse. Yeah. Just got to remember what sport you're playing, I guess. So far, Wynn Woods has done a nice job. Oh, beautiful move. And a nice save. I got a feeling we're going to be seeing some goals tonight. I think if we were wagering, I would not bet on a 0 0 tie. Here comes Anderson. Plenty of empty space here. Tries to put a through ball. See if he gets it. See if the keeper comes out. Nice job by keeper. And the keeper for Wooden Woods, is that David Aldana? We've got three number zeros, so I'm not sure which one is which. Does that seem right, David Aldana? Don't know. Okay. Maybe if we look at stats, that would probably tell me who's. Juan Madrigo is the one who is who is leading in saves, so I'm going to guess Juan Madrigo, Madrigo is the keeper tonight. Quick throw in there for Anderson. Going to see if he can play that out. And he plays it out for a throw in. Throw in to Anderson. Throw in to number 11, Sam Hughes. Sam Hughes tries to make it through two guys, but no, here we got a counter option. See if we have some foot speed here, see if he can outrace the Anderson defender, but the Anderson defender did a very nice job there of preventing him to, from getting to it. So we're seven minutes into the contest. Scoreless tie here. Um, big game coming up tonight on the national, international level. The U.S. is playing Jamaica down in Austin, Texas. Hit it out, over the top, clean. Nope, not quite. Got a little bit of body. Actually, come over the top, but I thought he kind of stayed, I don't think he fouled him. But. All right. So you're gonna try to put it in the box here? That's what he did, it's in the box. Cleared out nicely by Anderson. But Wynn Woods maintains possession. See if he crosses it. Good ball. Just a little bit long. Good idea, though. Wynn Woods is, this is back and forth a little bit. Actually, the ball's probably been in Wooden, in Anderson's side of the field more than Wynn Woods. Cleared. Throw and coming up for Anderson. Number 15, Will Noble. Will Nobles. Passes it to Sam Hughes. Noble again. Here we've got Hughes. Hughes to the left foot, nice ball. Oh, this could be an opportunity here. He turns, but cleared away nicely. Counter for Wynn Woods. Let's see if Wynn Woods can take advantage of numbers here. Delivers the ball, nice, nice position. He tried to turn, could have been a foul, did not call it. I actually thought that could have been more of a foul than the one over the top. Rowan <coughs> Anderson. Long ball down the sidelines. It's going to stay in, but it's cleared out of play. Probably a smart play there by Wynn Woods. 
So if we look at the state rankings right now, take a scope outside of Cincinnati, we got St. Ignatius, a power consistently in soccer and football, sitting at number one, 12 and 0. Got New Albany, which is up in the Columbus area. There might be an opportunity cleared out. New Albany at 11 and 0. They get to Centerville and Dayton sitting at number four or number five, nine and one. The highest ranked team in the city of Cincinnati is Mason. They're sitting at nine, one and two, sixth overall. Then if we drop down to number eight, we've got St. X. If we drop all the way down to 14, we've got Moeller sitting at seven, three and two. Finishing up the top 25, we've got um, I guess just the top 15, so we have to go to Division 2. We'll go to that in a moment. When was a little bit, a little bit hard on the um, first touch there. Otherwise, I think Wooden Woods had a pretty good scoring opportunity coming up. So, switching to Division 2, we've got Wyoming in Cincinnati. We've got Revere out of Richfield up in Cleveland at number 1, 10 0 2. We've got Wyoming at Cincinnati at 10 1 and 1. Indian Hill at number 7, 7 2 and 3. Um, we've got, um, and that's it for Cincinnati. Everybody else is outside of Cincinnati. We've got Bellbrook, which is up near Dayton, they're 8 2 and 3. Tip Canoe, Tip City, sitting at 15 at 10 2 and 1. In a moment, we'll go to Division 3. Cleared out of play. Throwing coming for the Winwood Raptors. Anderson Raptors. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Anderson Raptors. I'm about ready to call them the Toronto Raptors. <laughs> Vince Carter. But um, anyway, we'll have to find out. Don't know the story of how they became the Raptors, but I know why they're not the Redskins anymore. So, Wynn Woods here an opportunity. If he, he got 20 if he's looking. There you go. Play it wide. Ah, he took the shot. Oh, it might be an opportunity. Let's see if he can take advantage. Is that a handball? Got a little ragged there. I almost wondered if there was a handball in the box, but maybe not. So we've got a little bit of an injury here. Wooden Woods, we're going to have a trainer Official coming in. Out. I think he got kicked in the ankle there. While we're looking at, I'm not sure what number that is. Yeah. Looks like he's going to be okay. We have a PK. We did have a hand in the box. I got it. It was handball. So our broadcasting crew had it correct. I thought that we had an injury, which we did, but in fact we have a PK. Let's see if um, Woodwoods can take advantage of this and get an early lead, which would be huge. Probably one of the few times Anderson's been down all year if he puts this in the goal. Here we go. Big opportunity for Winwood to grab the lead here and save. Big, huge save for Anderson. That would have put some early pressure on Anderson if they had given up a goal, but nice save. Ball was actually struck pretty hard, but um, goalie guessed right. Getting a huge applause from from the Anderson side. So, dropping down to Division Three, we have Madeira. So Cincinnati is sitting at number one in Division Three. So local Madeira is 11 and 0, has not lost a game. Uh, Miami East and North is at 6 8 0 and 2. We've got Cincinnati Country Day at number eight. And we've got Marymount sitting at number 12. So represented in um, that area. So throw in coming up for Wooden Woods. 
We remain zero to zero after a huge opportunity for Winwoods to grab the lead, but a really nice save by the keeper Winwoods. by Anderson. So if we drop to um, girls, Cincinnati, perennial powerhouse, Mount Notre Dame sitting at first in the state. Um, we have got Milford sitting at number nine out of Cincinnati. Then we've got Mason sitting at number 15 at 6-2 and 4. Traditionally a power in the um, girls' side. 6-2 and 4, a little bit dropped on the state level, but still, obviously still competing. Good opportunity here, perhaps, for Winwoods. Oh, a great save. Super save by the keeper. It was looking, it was looking like Winwood, like um, Anderson was going to grab a 1-0 lead. Ball is cleared out, and nice save. He, point blank, I mean, he was no more than like a yard or two away when he made that save. Big shot, and got that up a little bit too high. Way, way beyond. So we are 26 minutes to go here in a scoreless game. Plenty of action early on. Good matchup. Woodwoods is giving themselves a good show so far. Playing even with the undefeated Anderson Raptors. Anderson would certainly like to end the season on a perfect conference record. They've already won the conference. And well, five one and one. Yeah, and even if they lost tonight, they'd win the conference. They're a game and a half up. We got Loveland sitting at 5-1-1. One, and one. So the best Loveland could do is 6-1-1. One, and, one, and the worst Anderson could do is 7-1. and one. So they do have the conference wrapped up. Out of play, throw in for Wynn Woods. And throwing it in was number 15, Hector Sanchez. Hector plays it to Oliver Perez. And ball is back. Oliver Perez with possession. And we've got a push. A foul on Anderson. So we will have a free kick coming up for Wynn Woods. Taking the free kick for Wynn Woods is Dan Umba, a junior midfielder. Well, maybe not. Mike. Like we've actually the honors go to another guy. Can't quite pick up the number. Once again, he's probably gonna put it in the box here. See what happens. Oh, he's trying to put it on goal. That was a little, little ambitious. Definitely plenty of lag. That was number 14, Pierre Natumba. Hope I'm getting the pronunciations right. Oh, very nice move. Slick move from well, that was number three, Tate Brandon. Play back. And cleared out of play. Settled nicely by Oliver Perez. And Keeper does a nice job of coming out and not giving Wooden any opportunity. Nice ball move. Nice moves right there, but well defended by Woodenwoods. And again, Woodenwoods on the side of the field. You know, I'd say in this first half, the Woodenwoods has had the better of the action. Ball is getting played by Hector Sanchez. Hector lost possession. Oh, that was a very nice move there. That was um, Graydon Glebby. And we got an offside. And we got a red yellow card. Somebody must have expressed their opinion oh, vocally, is my guess. They did, I heard it. Okay. Did you? Okay. So, and the rule in high school soccer, you come off and for, for a short period of time, and he might be coming off for a little longer period of time. Substituted right away, but normally, I guess if they sub, they're not down a man for a moment. Sometimes they can sub off and come back in. They do sub. Yeah. It's not like uh, the big boys where they 
Yeah. Well played. He has managed to settle it on the net. Actually, the keeper could have had that. Probably the keeper's job to communicate a little bit louder. He really didn't need to clear it, but if in doubt, better to clear it than have a mix up and a goal. But I think that's on the keeper to yell for it and probably wasn't vocal enough. Throwing coming for Anderson. Let's see if he can put this on the net. Ooh, put it right back to the middle. And a miss hit there and a scoring opportunity miss from Anderson. So we are just under 22 minutes. Good game so far. Lots of opportunities both ways to score. Again, I don't think it's going to stay scoreless for very long. We've got two good keepers here tonight, though, so who knows? Going to play it back to the keeper, and he's got to play with his feet. If you play it back with your feet, the keeper's got to play with his feet. If he plays it to his head, the keeper can... Do whatever. Pick it up. Battle there, and it eventually went off of... Boy, I thought that went off of Wynn Woods. Called the foul. Nice ball. Not to anybody in particular, but in a dangerous spot. He went to pass it there. That was a number 11, Sam Hughes. There really wasn't anybody there to pass it to. Oh! <laughs> wow. Probably not going to do that again. That could have been a catastrophic mistake there. He's lucky when Woods wasn't able to get it on net or past him even. Wynn Woods has given a good showing for themselves tonight. I'd say in the first half, they've outplayed Wynn Woods. They don't have any goals to show for it, but um, they've had plenty of opportunities, including the penalty kick, which had an excellent save from uh, Anderson. Oh, he's through, but ended up taking a hop back to the keeper. Let's see what kind of distance he puts on this. Gonna guess the 45 yard line roughly. Better, 40 yard line. It's a good weapon to have somebody that can clear it out like that. Possessed by Anderson. Down the right sideline. Keeps it in, nice job, good through ball. This could be a scoring opportunity here. Oh, was not able to quite possess it. Will he give him a PK? Looks like it. Ooh, I don't know about that one. Looks like he, I think he tripped himself over the guys, but after he gave the first one, I guess maybe he felt obligated to give the second one. I think he, he did fall over his feet, but I'm not sure if that was a penalty kick or not. But. The clock stops at 19.04. Okay, we've got a penalty kick opportunity here. Let's see if he can cash in. This is our second PK of the night. Let's see if Wooden Woods keeper can, can repeat the favor. Oh, very well. He's, are they gonna do that one over? Yeah, uh, looks like they broke first. Where Anderson? Nope. 18 minutes, 59 second mark for the first half. Did somebody come across? Anderson won. I didn't see they, Wooden Woods players were unhappy about something about that goal. I'm not sure what it was. If you, if you look at the kick, he kind of paused, which you're allowed to do, froze the keeper, and then he placed it in the corner. It was a nice, it was a nice penalty kick. They are disputing something. I'm not sure what they're disputing.
So Anderson was able to capitalize on the penalty kick where Woodwoods was not. One to nothing. Whether that whether that was a penalty kick or not is not our decision. So here comes Anderson looking to build on the one nothing lead right at the 19 minute mark. Little chip inside, kept on side by number five, by number by um, Awuna Kondal. coming over the field there. See that? A little bit of rain or? It's like a mist. And it's an interesting night. There's some really dark clouds from further out. So I don't know if we may be in for some rain or not. Later. Okay, we got a throw in coming in for, that's Matt Knoll. Passing it to um, Sam Hughes. Back. Oh, this could be two right here. Offside. Offside. Play it back and end up being an offside position. Keeper still seems a little upset about the first goal. Goal kick for Wynn Woods. Was um, um, Ami Souva. Yeah, I wonder if that's a light rain. It just looks like this coming off the field. Doesn't it? Yeah. It's really interesting. It's like a ghost or something. <laughs> the fog. The fog here at Mason, or a fog here at Wynn Woods. Yeah. <laughs> and the goal was scored just around the time the five came. Maybe that could be the Anderson new nickname, the Fog. <laughs> be kind of a cool nickname. Put me in a ghost outfit or something. We get Paul Mel Torbe as your coach. Yeah. Reference that nobody listens to this probably get. No, no. Is a singer, no, no, no. You have to see if the game is being played in the Bay Area. There's still a little bit of the fog left. Let's see if um, Wynn Woods can. Use the fog to their advantage. Maybe, maybe blind the keeper for a moment. <laughs> oh, nice job, but not quite. Anderson on the counter and maintains Woodwood's possession. Is he through? Could be an opportunity here. Wants to? Can he get a shot off? Uh, a little ambitious, a little hard to get a shot off that way. It's a four on one there. Cool. Yeah, he's, he's got a teammate right there that's like first or second in the, the league in goals. Use them, right? Oh, Anderson's got the ball again. Nice job, kept it. Did he say it was over the line? He's gonna give him a card. Little card, issue uh, Seems a little harsh, giving him a card for that reason. <coughs> he didn't, I think he punted the ball before he knew it was out of play. That's what it looked like to me. Yeah, I think that was. Playing. There was a whistle, but it was pretty quick. It was already in a process. So when you sub out the keeper, what do you gotta do? You gotta put another keeper in for a moment? Yeah. That 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 seemed to me to be a little bit harsh. Sorry. 
it didn't look to me like he was doing that because he was angry. It just looked to me like he was doing it because he, did, he didn't think it was over. What's interesting is we have a corner now with a fresh goalkeeper. Could be a big call. I'm not a big fan of, um, I don't know, just honestly, I kind of felt that really wasn't needed. Unless it's kind of dating back to when they got the um, penalty kick. Maybe gave them some words at that point. Can they sub back in their keeper now? They can. Corner kick, Anderson. Here, we go. Here comes the keeper. Now they get oh, to. Oh, no, wait a minute. He's waiting. Bro, can't come in yet. They're not letting him in. Coach is talking to him. Boy. Could be a big call. Oh, nice job by the fresh keeper. Another good job. Sub came, comes up big, cold off the bench. How about that? Made a real big play that we might remember that later on. Still can't get their own keeper off. I'd almost play out of play, wouldn't you? Or it has to, actually it has to be off of um, off Anderson to be able to come back in, right? Maybe they can score a goal in the meantime. Oh, nice shot. Oh, very nice. Nice move right there. Gonna see if he can lose them. Oh, that was nice. Wow. Good, good, good. Good movement up there. We just was not able to get enough on the shot. And we Anderson still possession. still have the Anderson key or the Winwoods keeper on the bench. If that clears out of play. I don't think he can come on until Wynn Woods puts the ball out of play. And sometimes that could be a little bit. And cleared to the Anderson keeper. Wasted opportunity when you put it in like that, really. Anderson. Could have been a foul there, maybe. Maintain possession. Did not go out of play. I thought it might have. Very hard to see that line from this angle. And we get a corner kick. And can they sub in the keeper? Still can't sub him in. That's the third corner kick with the with the backup keeper. Yellow card issue. Another yellow card? Oh, now he can come in? Did he get an intentional yellow so they could switch the keeper? You know what I'm saying? That's how they got their keeper back by... That was a good... That was a... <laughs> Give, give the ref some grief so we can get our keeper back in the game. Wow, that's interesting. He's gonna run out of yellow cards at this pace. If he runs out of yellows, does he have to give out reds? Oh, another one right across the face. Well played by Anderson. He's going to take a strike. Oh, hit the crossbar. Wow. Well, big break there for Wynn Woods. That, that one was going right on, right in the goal and hit the crossbar in the corner. Nice strike. So we remain 1-0. We got a very competitive game tonight. A barn burner. Barn burner here in Wynn Woods. The only difference in the game so far is one team making a corner penalty kick and the other one's not. Good hard work. Probably just a little bit more of working together. Individually seeing great skill, they just need to show the ball a little bit more. That's a good ball, very nice. A header, oh. 
Great idea. Great idea. Beautiful cross by um, Ziad Ladabi. That's the combination we're looking for to maybe get some scores for Wynn Woods. Coming up on 10 minutes to go here in the first half and a, and a very interesting first half of play. We've got Anderson, Raptors up one to nothing on Wooden Woods on the strength of converting on a penalty kick while Wooden Woods was not able to. And a nice save by the keeper. Here we come, Wooden Woods is coming at us. See if they can get the tying goal here. Oh, blocked by Anderson, making it an easy pickup for the Anderson keeper. We are a moment from 10 minutes to go in the first half. Lots of air time on that. Not, not as far as the Winwoods keeper. And see if he's trying to play back to the keeper. He's going to play it out of play. Smart play. Throw in number two, Ethan Hensley. He actually gives it off to number 27, Matt Knoll. We've heard Matt's name a couple times tonight. We got a foul here, free kick. Mm -hmm. Free kick. Hmm. Didn't see what that one was either. He got around him. It was behind him and got around him. And that's okay. Him up. A little ticky tacky, but it was. Yeah, he's called it. He's called it pretty tight. I guess he's not gonna put up with anything. An indirect kick. That idea did not work for Anderson. We remain one to nothing with just a hair under nine minutes to go here in the first half. Let's see if let's see if Wynn Woods can put together a scoring opportunity to get this tied for halftime. They played well enough to deserve to be even at, at, at half. They played well enough they almost deserve to be ahead, really. Good ball skill. This could be an opportunity. He tried to turn it there. That was, um, that was again, that was with Ziad Ladabi, senior. That was a nice boot. Wow. Oh, good. Very nice job of lifting it right over the Anderson player. He has got some long strides. How tall is he maybe? He's gotta be 6'3", 6'4", maybe. Oh, Anderson through, oh, nice, nice tackle right there. Fending's been pretty good for Wooden Woods actually. They go for all, uh, Besides being down one nothing a half, which the coach would have to be pleased with, I would think overall. Okay, okay, get back, get back. You'd be even more pleased if they could get a goal before halftime, but the free kick is for Anderson. Like somebody. I'm not sure who's going to take the free kick. Is it going to be Alex Dorco or is it going to be somebody else? Alex Dorco. Good ball to the to the far side. And deftly cleared. Dorco again. And cleared. And a corner coming up again. This is probably maybe the fourth or fifth corner of this half at least. So far... Wooden Woods has done a good job on the corners. Really haven't given up, haven't given up any goals yet. So, um, but to keep giving up corners, it might be a matter of time before they end up being goals. Gonna try to take a shot over. Great anticipation. He was struck a little bit, I think. And another big boot. No surprise there.
Backed him off balance. I think that was a legitimate free kick. Just under six minutes to go here in an interesting first half. Anderson Raptors leading the Wintwood Warriors one to nothing on the strength of a penalty kick. Oh, that was foul. That almost could have warranted a card. Been tough with the numbers for Anderson to get a scoring opportunity. One was get scoring opportunity, but they might might hear. Well played, cleared by Winwoods or Anderson, Anderson sorry. As we approach five minutes to go in the first half. Attack there. Want to play out of bounds, throw in Wood Woods. Wood Woods is controlling a lot of possession, but they can't they can't break down the final third of the Anderson field. Anderson's doing a good job defending. Keeper out to, to grab it. Confident goalkeeping. Four minutes to go in the first half. He's consistently at the 40 yard line on his punts. Might have an opportunity here. See if he can play it wide. Good. Back. And he's taking a shot. Really, really way too far out to take a shot there. Good, good opportunity to share with your teammates. Cleared wide by Wooden Woods. Little over three and a half minutes to go in the, in a, in the first half. One nothing, Anderson. Passing just much sharper. That was a really nice job. Really good position and just couldn't finish. But that was a nice attack there from Anderson. In three touches, they got the ball down the field and had a cross with a chance to go up 2-0. Let's see what Wooden Woods can do here in the final three minutes. See if they can create their own scoring opportunity. Ah, playing with it too much there. Put himself in danger of giving it up. Fortunately, they had the handball. You know, Winwood's got scorers, you just gotta feed them the ball. Throwing number 22, that's Ben Antonio. I uh, mistouched it. They have given Anderson an opportunity here. Is he going to play it to the keeper, or is he going to play it out of bounds? He's trying to let it go over the end line, but he's put himself in danger. Oh, I, that could be two. That was just, just, a, just a mistake there on the defense. They just played with it, played with it. And he really could have just cleared the ball out. Instead, he was trying to get it go over the end line. As a result, gave up a, a really hard late goal right there. Really a shame for Wooden Woods. They played very well in this first half, and they're down 2 nothing. The score is not representative of the game at all. It could easily, it could easily be even or even up a goal. But that, that one hurts. Fender was just a little indecisive on what to do. He was trying to get it to go over the end line when it um, might have been wiser just to clear it out. That's what the decision was going on in his head. Give Anderson some credit, though. They took advantage. They're showing them one of the reasons that they're undefeated is they're, they take advantage of the opportunities they're given. Looks 
little under two minutes to go here. Anderson with a big two nothing lead now. That's going to make it much tougher in the second half, I would assume, for Winwood's to score. Anderson will probably drop back deeper, play more defensively, and going to make it even more difficult for Winwood's to get a goal in the second half. In the meantime, they got to worry about this opportunity. This could be three right here with a good cross. Well cleared out. Still in possession for Anderson. Anderson seeing if they can create one more scoring opportunity before the half ends. Plays it back to the keeper. The keeper didn't get a full swing on that. Maintained Wooden Woods. Wooden Woods got maybe 45 seconds. And calls the foul this time on um, on Anderson. Anderson settles quickly here. They might be able to get a play in the box here. Maybe a chance to get a late goal. Right, there you go. Oh, nice, nice. Nice try there. Very difficult. He was trying to head it back towards goal, but that was hard. Possession, Anderson. And that should do it for the first half. I think they'll just run out the clock here. And in an in a entertaining first half, Winwood's played eight, very eight, tough. Seven, um, six, down five, two nothing, but four, as we said before, three, the score two, is really not representative one. of how That's close this first half one. was. We'll see what happens here in the second half. Be back in a few moments. Okay, we're about ready for the beginning of the second half here. Um, entertaining first half. Um, had a chance to listen to the halftime speech from the Wynn Woods coach, and he said he thought Wynn Woods played well in the first half. May have surprised Anderson a little bit, but I would kind of concur with that. Outside of the late goal, I mean, very even first half, Wynn Woods could easily be tied. Now, one of the things he said at halftime is he said, expect Anderson to come out playing hard here in the first couple of minutes and to be prepared for that momentum. We'll see if the, see if that's true and how they react. Oh, beautiful pass. Looks like we had a foul there on um, Anderson. So there will be a free kick. The player injured who's up, seems to be okay, is Dan Umba, Jr. So we'll see what happens here in the, in the second half. Session stand is closed. Session stand is closed. So, session stand is closed. So anybody who's here that wanted to get something, it's too late. Nice job there. Oh, tried to get by him, but well defended again. But the back line really played pretty well, except for the one indecision right at the end of the half that cost them a with a big goal. Give me an uphill battle for Woodwoods to get come back here. Two nothing, but sometimes it's as easy. Once you get that first one, sometimes the second one comes pretty fast. So here's their first really good opportunity. This is a great spot right here. This is typically a good ball where you can bring your guys in for a header. Looks like he got kicked there. He's, that is Ame Sawovi. Let's see what happens here. They really. I have more guys in there to try to get ahead of the ball. They really don't have anybody there. He's going to try to. Uh, that's, that's a really difficult position there. Rather than taking a shot on goal. Normally it's a good play right there to try to cross it and bring some more guys in. That was an opportunity missed, I think. Oh, he might have that. 
a little bit too close. Well defended though. But right back to Win Woods and a hard first touch there. Lost him the ball. Let's see if Win Woods can get a couple of passes going together. Keeper has done a nice job. Certainly has played well. Gave up one goal on the penalty kick. And the other goal really had not, was not not was not his fault. It was a defensive lapse. Defensive mis miscue, really. He's got to be offside there. Okay, Anderson. Win Woods here. Maybe an opportunity. Can he get through? Oh, this could be a chance. Oh, wrong post. I think if he'd have put it to the right side, I think he might have got a goal. Said he went to the short side. Another good opportunity. Just have not been able to cash in. They haven't had a lot of opportunities, but that was a good one right there. Still plenty of time for Wooden Woods to, to get this game even. But the sooner they get the first goal here, the better. They've certainly got guys on the Wooden Woods side capable of putting the ball in the net. Trying to beat two guys, kind of tough. Call foul or throw it. He did call foul. Again, an opportunity. You need to get some. You get some guys in the front of the net to head the ball in. Need to be moving forward. They're bringing. They're sneaking somebody in here. Another body, maybe. That's a good spot. There you go. Oh, what do you call? Want another yellow card? Or we got another PK. We certainly do. Wow. Third PK of the game. Is he is he at the 12 or is he a yard back? He's a yard back. There's a little spot right there. Okay. Barely see his little black dot on so, so this could be huge. And two to one. And just like that, Wooden Woods is right back in the match. Game on. Game on here in Wooden Woods. See the Ziad cheering section down there. Buried that one. You got the keeper going the other direction, two to one. So now we got 34 minutes and we got a game on now. Exciting action here. Forget about the US Jamaica game. <laughs> we got, some, we got a family member in Austin tonight at that game. It's a brand new stadium, only opened about a month ago, just, just shortly after the TQL stadium opened. Soccer fans remember Austin was going to, they wanted to put the Columbus crew in Austin. The Cleveland Browns owner. Oh, nice. Cleveland Browns owner and with the fans rescued the crew and they set up their own expansion team. So they have a nice stadium also. Let's 
So big goal there. Now there's a hop in Woodwood step. A lot of times that second goal can come right away. And the longer this game goes on, no foul there. Guess he called it clean. Oh, that could be a big no call. That's a huge no call. Scored by Anderson wow. at the 32 minute 59 second mark of the second half. So I don't know. I'm not sure if that was a foul or not. Winton Woods, one. They often call, decided not to, and just just like that, down two goals. That's a backbreaker for Wynn Woods. Confidence was rising big time after that goal, but a lot of times it seems to happen a lot that after one team scores, it's a dangerous time for the other. But that was. I don't know, that could have been a foul. I think, I think that put them on their heels a little bit after he didn't call the foul, and as a result, Anderson took advantage. That was just as big a goal for Anderson, because um, with that game at two to one. Throw into Anderson. Tackle on the ball here. We could see a fourth. Oh, a ricochet. Offside. Offside. Anderson. Let's see if Ant, let's see if Wynn Woods can bounce back from that third goal. That's a hard one. Okay. Your possession. Maybe here we go. Maybe a shot. Can he turn? Oh, this could be two. Offside. Oh, was the ball tipped though? Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. Uh, matter if it's he, was, he was in front of him. Yeah, yeah, he was in the other side. So he broke when the ball was initially kicked. Yeah. And then it was, it was kicked back, and that, that's what uh, right, right. caused him to go offside. So. Yeah, I'll think about that for a second, but. Trip outside the box. So that'll be a free kick. We could be seeing another yellow card here. His favorite color. <laughs> Must, yellow card. He's not going to put up with anything. Woods. That is the fourth yellow card tonight, maybe? Fourth or fifth? It's a good thing he, good thing he brought his pen tonight. Yeah. Let's be running out of ink. And as we're waiting for the substitute to come in on this kick, this, this is a dangerous spot for Anderson, for Wynn Woods. Anderson, as you see, compared to when Wynn Woods had the kick, Anderson's got a bunch of people on that right side. Plenty of bodies, might be, a, tried to shoot it right on net. Not sure if that was the wisest sh shot, or he just couldn't get over the top, but not very much chance of scoring with that play. Good hustle by the Anderson keeper. Winwood's keeper, I'm sorry. Getting late here. Oh, nice spin move. Well played there. 
Looking to settle it for Landon Moore. And that's um, Alex Dorco and a trip by Landon Moore, senior defender. Or nope, Landon stepping to the side. And instead, Graydon Glebe, sophomore. Oh, nice ball. We got a bunch in there. Are they all on? I guess so. So we get a counter here for Winwoods, perhaps. Got a lot of bodies to overcome. Good chip. Oh, nice idea. He's on side. Just, just a little bit too far, but a great idea. See if Wooden Woods can mount, mount an attack here. Counter for Anderson. Through ball, well defended. Oh, and cleared. We got another card coming? Or a foul? Another card? What is that? Another foul? Another card? Stand under the coach. The guy's gonna issue the card. He's his arm's getting tired. It's interesting. It's getting to the point where more of the attention's on the on the um, the ref tonight. Or How many yards do they get? Ten. Ten, yeah. Oh, he stepped up. Well, did he touch it? No, nobody touched it. Oh, a little back. deception there. Oh, that was well defended. What a great tackle. Wow. That was a goal. Without that tackle, it's 4-1. That was really well done. Pass. There we go. Oh, a little behind him. Good idea. Done. Yeah, it's getting a little, getting a little ragged now. It's gotten, this game's gotten a, little, a little choppy, a little bit choppy with all the yellow cards, too. There's the, we've lost the rhythm of the game. Almost feeling like a basketball game. As far as all the interruptions, I mean. Gonna start shooting three throws. I guess we have had three penalty kicks, so I guess that's a form of, of free free kicks. Very free. Trying to counter. Oh, took a hop over his foot. Looks like they had a chance there. Did he save that? That white line's really confusing back there. This could be four. And it is. Boy, that's skill. Nice skill on that one. That's a double brack breaker there. With 27 minutes to go 4-1, that, that's going to be a awfully big score to overcome. Goal comes at 27-14 on the clock. Yeah, unfortunately, now you're getting the players kind of getting mad at each other. A little bit of frustration. Could be a microcosm of their season, huh? They're one and six in the conference, so. The 
they've got the players, they just haven't had the play when they needed to. Couple, couple of mistakes. Wow. This could be five. Oh, that was really nice. Was he on? I think he was offside. He only lifted the flag, but. Fourth goal was a nice goal. Just chipped it right over the keeper's head. That yep. Was... Yep. Very well done. Anderson's in control now with a 4-1 lead. They can, they can kind of play with the ball and drop defenders deep. And Looks like they're definitely on their way to an undefeated conference season and an undefeated regular season. The only glitch on their record is one tie. I did not have a chance to look at who Anderson played this year. Actually, I'll do this right now. So Anderson, the only tie this year is against St. X. Ooh. Two to two, so there's no shame in that tie. Ooh. So that's pretty impressive. As far as accomplished wins, they beat Elder, three to one. Played Shamana Julian, which I'm trying to where that is. They beat Turpin 2-1. B. Lakota West 2 1. So they had a good out of conference record, too. The um, 2 to 2 tie with um, St. X. That's a good one. Considering St. X is up in the state. They have one more game. They play Walnut Hills. So their season's not done. And that will be a and home game for Win for Win Woods. So if we look at at Win Woods roster this year, um, they beat Landmark Trinity. That was Tuesday night. Yes. So they won six four. They lost the game before that nine to nothing. Now how this team would lose a game nine nothing? Pretty surprising because they look they've looked really good tonight at times. Outside of that, lost the one that hills three nothing. Um, hmm. Anyway, we've got twenty three minutes, twenty four minutes to go here in the second half. Um, what well, was a really tight game, we now got a gap, it's four to one, so it's a big advantage for for um, Anderson. If they're gonna get back in this game, they've gotta score like pretty quickly. But it's gonna be a massive task. Beautiful, oh, beautiful footwork. And then he was, was he? I don't know. I guess it was a clean tackle. Kind of a dangerous one. That could have been a PK again. Might be an opportunity here. Oh, nice turn. It's having to be like four guys, but oh, I tell you what, he certainly he certainly made some great moves. But ball still ends up in Anderson's hand, bringing it out again. One of the guys is offside. He's back on now. Winwood's trying to create pressure here. Called the foul on Zalame Fodor. 
Let's see. They're just frustrated. I think they've used up all their yellow cards, though. The way the referee's been pulling yellow cards, I'm surprised that wasn't one of them. Right, me too. I thought, thought there was another yellow card coming there. His arm might be tired going down. <laughs> it's like when you go get your credit card slip and it runs out of the yellow paper or the red at the end. <laughs> He's got to get another roll. <laughs> they do. They do end up being red at the end, don't they? When they run out of paper, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's hope we don't see any of those. <laughs> like I said, they're pretty rare. It affects the following game too. So you're not only out for this game, you're out for the next one. If a, if you get a red, right? Yeah. Yep. But I I can think on my one hand the amount of reds I've seen in high school. Well, we had one on Tuesday for. Oh, did you? Offside. Oh, the coach got a red. The JV game. Oh. I'm a little bit excited. Yeah, yeah. Possible, but it's pretty rare. Yeah. So we're almost halfway through the second half here. Three goals here in the second half. First goal for Winwood seemed to get them right back in the game, and then that third goal was a backbreaker. Wooden Woods could pull off a goal here. They could make it interesting. He's dangerous. Well played by the keeper. He's creating a little bit of havoc down there. I think that's, um, that's Saeed. Adabi. Out of play. This half's had a couple of stops, so the half seems a little bit longer than normal. How you, how you. So let's see if Wynn Woods can create some magic here, get a goal here and get a couple quick goals and make it a game. Oh, very nice. But out to Anderson, unfortunately. He's looking for a crosser there. Nice ball, very right, right on the spot. Well done. Just a hair over his head. Nice, nice spin move there. This direction got. And he called him for a foul. Free kick, Quentin Woods. I think a little upset from the Anderson side. Lost his footing there for a moment. Nice clear. Oh, little little bicycle kick out. Some of the individual ball skills pretty impressive on the Woodwood side. Fortunately, they can't put it together with some enough passes. It'd be one guy, and there's two guys more there. Oh, that's nice. This could be the fifth goal here if he feeds it. Oh, that's nice. Well defended. Great tackle again. That's a couple times they've had pretty impressive. That was five. Saved the goal there. Real dangerous slide kick. 
Yeah, but he got he he did pull it off. And uh, he almost had to. If he didn't pull it off, that was a goal. Can you yes. make Oh putting pressure on the Anderson defenders, but they're doing a nice job. Did it go over? It's no, it's a, nope. be a throw in. It, it it's like. a throw in. Just saved it from being a corner. Seen it well, I did give it to a corner. This could be an opportunity here. I would be having all my guys in. Especially, especially the tall guy that's come in. Anybody that's got some height to it. I'd, I'd even have your backline defender in there, you know? Number 20, he's tall. Unfortunately, put it right in the keeper. This, this point, I'd say throw caution to the wind. You're down three goals. Just a hair under 16 minutes to go. Winwood's needing three goals to tie this game up. Um, the longer it goes between, long, farther we get in, the more unlikely three goals is gonna be. This could be one though. Nice pass. Now he's gotta be two guys, just too much. Yeah, he needs to feed his guys. He, a lot of trying to beat two guys. This is too hard. That was kind of a... Banged him up a little bit. Substitution for Anderson. Substituting in, coming out of for Anderson is number four. Jack Barnhill, and subbing in, uh, I need to see the bigger number. Official timeout for him. Number two, I think, coming in is Ethan Hensley. Clock stop at 14.55. Another, another timeout. It's an official timeout. What's this one for? I think he's trying to sell things down before they get a little out of hand here. Yeah. So, a little under 15 minutes to go here. Oh, good idea. Forced a corner kick. That was Ethan Hensley forcing the corner. And an opportunity here for um, Anderson to get the five goals. Lining up for the corner kick. Anderson lined up outside the 18. Bringing in some bodies on the cross. There might be an opportunity. 
Good try, but wide and cleared out by Wynn Woods. Let's see if Wynn Woods can counter here with their guys in on the corner kick. Take advantage. That was a beautiful pass. Let's see if he can bring one more in. Oh, he put it to the middle. I think if he'd have played it wide, he had a good opportunity wide. He had nobody out wide. He had two in the middle. Anderson did a good job of clearing it. Ah, uh, looked like he leaned on him a little bit. And got interesting. He got the foul on um, Anderson. I almost thought the foul would have been on Wooden Woods. They might be giving him a card. Nope. The only battle Wooden Woods has been winning tonight is the, the yellow card battle. <laughs> it's been like four to one, maybe. <laughs> here oh beautiful back pass oh disappointing finish because beautiful so there's some really nice passing right there from Anderson showing some of the skill I guess that has them sitting at where they're sitting right now in terms of record quality on that one so coming out of this match um, Anderson should be moving to 14 0 and 1 Probably give him a pretty decent matchup in the um, drawing in the tournament coming up. Get another whistle. <laughs> well, well, guys, we had a. I thought we had a good game tonight. Um, was it for lightning? Was that lightning in Louisiana or something? The weather comes from behind us, and you can see all the way out to Hamilton Field left. So, huh? They called it for lightning. They called it for lightning. Oh, I thought, it, and here we thought it was something else. All right, there we go. Well, entertaining game. Really, it was a much closer than a four to one game in my opinion. And you gotta give Wynn Woods credit for hanging in there and playing tough. So this is Ian Liddell with Waycross. Um, you guys have a good night and take your final 12 minutes and turn, turn on the USA Jamaica game. <laughs> of course the game will be over by the time it's playing, right? Uh, yeah, that's okay. Yep. Well, so, thank you. Have a good night.